guys learning with rich here again in this video um, after learning how to add peers and pilasters in our project so we are still on the foundation topic so this time I'm going to teach you a quick video on how to add isolated foundation or isolated footings okay so let's get started so I'm gonna open the adding isolated footings exercise here again we are still working on the same project so I'm going to quickly show you how to create an isolated footings. All right. Okay, now the first thing that we are going to do, just like last time, we will be adding, um, oh, we are going to open the top of footing level. So I'm going to open this top of footing, just double click that. And before I start adding um, isolated footings, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly show you how to view elements that was hidden okay like for example I want to hide the grids okay so I want to hide the grid so I can select one grid right click and then after that there is an option here hide in view so I'm not going to select elements because if I select elements it will only hide the selected element so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select hide category there you go now, let's say, for example, um, you want to show back again your grids. So if you want to show back again your grids, you can go check your visibility graphic overrides here. You can select Edit. And then after that, instead of going to the model categories, you need to go to the annotation because grids is part of annotation categories. So you need to go here on letter G. And then you will see here that the grids is unchecked. All right. So aside from checking the grids here to turn it on. Okay. So what I can do is another way aside from using the visibility graphic overrides. So what I can do is I can go to my uh, view control bar. So again, this area here is called view control bar. So I'm going to select this bulb here. So it says reveal hidden elements. So I'm going to select Reveal Hidden Elements. So I just click that one. And then quickly, you will now be going to the uh, Reveal Hidden Elements box. Okay, so as you can see, there's a color, what's this? A reddish color box here, implying that you are on a hidden, uh, Reveal Hidden Elements uh, window. So as you can see, all the elements that having this color this color here, the reddish color, those are the elements that is hidden in your current view. Okay, so as you can see, aside from the grid, so some of the points here as well is hidden, right? The analytical nodes are also hidden in this view. But that is not what we are after. We are after in our grid. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to select the grid. Okay, and then there's an option here, unhide category. Or you can also type VU. Okay, so I just need to select this. There you go. And then after that, I just need to select Toggle Reveal Hidden Elements Mode. So once I click that, so as you can see, it's now uh, shown here. So let me repeat. So let's say I'm going to hide all the structural columns. I, I click one, right click, and then Hide in View Category. There you go. So it's now hidden. Now, if I want to show that back again, so aside from going to the visibility graphic overrides, so I just need to select the bulb here, reveal hidden elements. And then after that, I just click one of the structural column that is hidden. And then there is an option here, unhide category. So I just need to click that one and toggle reveal hidden elements mode. So just click that. There you go. Okay? So that's how you use this reveal hidden elements. All right. So let us now go into our exercise. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select here the structure tab. And then after that, from the foundation panel, so there's, an uh, there's a tool here that is called the structural foundation isolated. So it adds footings or pile cups to the building model. So I'm going to select this one. And then after that, as you can see, uh, we only have here two types of 
uh, footing rectangular family. So I'm just going to select the default one here, but I'm going to create a new one. So I'm going to select edit type here. You know this already, I select here duplicate. So let's say, for example, what I want is uh, three feet by uh, three feet and five inches by uh, three feet and five inches by let's say 12 inches like that okay so this is the footing size that I want so I'm going to select here okay all right now for the thickness here since I put here 12 inches for the thickness I can just type here one so one stands for one foot so I'm going to click now here. So automatically it will become one foot and zero inches. So for the width, of course, this one is three space five. And then I click the length here. Again, you will notice automatically Revit will add here the feet symbol and then the inches symbol. So for this one, I'm going to type three space five. All right. Okay. So after creating this type, so I'm now going to select here. Okay. Okay, so now the next thing that I'm going to do is there is an option here, multiple panels. So there is an option here, add columns. Okay, so we know already how to use our add grids, right? So what will happen is it will place your rectangular footing on the grids. But this time around, since we already put all the columns in our project, so let us try to use this option, add columns or add structural columns. So it creates things at the basis of selected structural column okay so I'm going to select this one all right okay and then I'm going to use window selection so you will notice it will select all the columns there you go so as you can see it's now added but we are not yet finished because you need to select finish here Okay, so you just need to select finish. And there you go. Alright, so let us now select here modify to terminate our tool. Okay, so basically that's how you add your footing. So if I go to the 3D view. And then let's have a look around. There you go. Okay. So it's not that difficult. Okay. Oops. So maybe I'll just need to change this to shaded color or um, consistent color so that there's no shadow so that you can see it. Okay, so those are our uh, isolated footings. Okay, there you have it. So hopefully you learned something from this video, guys. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below. And I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. So thank you for watching. Have a nice day.